So here we are uh, reloading uh, 222 Remington and I just poured in uh, powder in five cases and uh, it's about to start putting in bullets. And I look down the, uh, the neck of the, uh, of the cases as usual to see that I haven't uh, forgotten uh, powder in any of these and then you notice that it doesn't show up very well here maybe but one of them has powder uh, reaching up further in the case than the other four. So this is okay. Same, same. This actually has more. And this is the same. So, you know, what's that all about? So we try to let's measure these ones or weigh them. 116 grains, you know. And we have 160 grains. Now we have 116 grains. Here's the one that looks suspicious. 126. The last one is um, 114. Obviously, <clears throat> this weird one here is heavier. So let's pour it out. And uh, oops, fill it up again. So, <coughs> then again, so look, uh, I can't, I can't really see the camera like this, unfortunately, but it again looks like it's pretty tall. Weigh it again. Uh, sorry, let's see, let's put this back. Maybe. Hundred twenty-six. So if it has the same amount of power as the other ones, and the uh, <coughs> level is higher, it can only mean one thing: the internal volume of this case is smaller than these ones. So the case has a different weight and it has a smaller volume. So this is not going to be good. So I'm going to discard this one. It might be something to think about when you reloading, look through the brass and uh, weigh the cases. Uh, I actually did that. I don't know how this one came in here. These are Norma 222s and I've seen three different uh, weight levels of those cases, so I try to sort them out to avoid this kind of issue, but uh, apparently I must have missed one. Okay, <coughs> signing out. See you later.